This is Scotty Silver for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm down here with Terry Turbo Flanagan in Foot of Ventura this time, mate. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, come over here with Dominic and the lads from the Ingo camp to uh, try it. I mean, Greg invited me over, my nutritionist said it'd be good for me. So, yeah, two week out here, just starting camp really, just something different. So, camp's not the same old shit, so. I think in the last uh, in the last nine months or so, I think I've caught up with you in Manchester, Lanzarote, uh, Fuerteventura. I'm becoming your own little stalker here. But I've got to crack on straight away. Bad injury year. How is the injury holding up? A couple of weeks so into I camp. Mate, yeah, everything's going well. Yeah, yeah. being able to do what I'm what I'm doing. And yeah, I've caught a little bit in the in the gym earlier with your, your reps and working out with all the guys. Your first experience at Adam Bailey's gym here in Fort Ventura and, and first impressions? It's a good gym, it's a lot of quiet place, there's not much going on but that's all you need for training isn't it? We've come, come, the weather's not been the best neither so we've just been training, going home having a nap, coming back training again, going out for a little walk at the night, get some dinner and yeah, everything's going well, the weight's coming down, everything's going all planned. And how have you found it with all the guys? I mean, obviously these guys regularly come over with Billy Joe Saunders, Cal, Barry, Atif. Uh, settled in nicely with the crack, enjoying the crack? Yeah, they're all top lads. I mean, I've got my own workplace here, so well, I'm staying on my own, so I'm okay to... And I can handle them for an hour or two, but now I like to get away and have my own space. If I was in a room and I would go mad, but yeah, it's a laugh, it's different, it's something, something I'm enjoying. Have you found Billy Joe Saunders is just as crazy to be around as what sometimes he is on the interviews? Yeah, he's just like, just one of the boys, and he's just like us all, we're all the same, we all have a laugh, wind each other up. Uh, it's good, I'm enjoying it. Uh, Atif Shafiq, he was singing your praises early. He said uh, you'd also had a game of bowls. Is there no end to your talent? Did you win the bowls? He seemed I didn't to think... win the bowling, but I smashed them all at the crazy goal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm the best at the bowling. Is, is there any video footage of the crazy yeah. golf? Nah, just pictures, just pictures. But they all know. Ask any of them. Now, you're training Steve. Well, you're actually it's Steve's dad over here this time, whose name, spookily enough, is, is Steve as well. Obviously you've got like Dominic Ingle here as well, how, how, how's that sort of work, Do you, is there a sort of tips going between each other, is there a little bit of nosing going what on? what it is with, with Steve and Dominic, you, Steve will phone Dominic for advice and vice, vice versa, so yeah, he's, he said yeah come over to do me a bit of good, yeah, been doing pads and that, the Ingle way, which isn't really my style, but if I pick one or two things up while I'm out here, it's a bonus, so yeah, things going well. And you must be issuing to get back in the ring, of course, the news has come that you're going to be a dad again as well. You've got those bills to pay, I bet you're counting down the days now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm excited to get back in. I mean, we're having so long off. My mind's fresh, my body's fresh, just everything I'm wearing, I'm just soaking up and I'm enjoying it, so it's all good. And when I spoke to you in Lanzarote a few weeks ago, you were saying it's going to be hard for the sparring partners, you know, bearing in mind hookers, like a six foot guy. How's that been going so far? I've not started sparring yet, just been doing bits of technique here and stuff like that, but yeah, not really. We'll get the likes of maybe Bradley Skeet, people like that when we get home, like to our kids, but yeah, I'll leave all that to Steve, whoever he puts me in with us, you Yeah. And I've got to, got to touch on something as well, where Anthony Crawler did uh, an interview with Eiffel TV yesterday, and he said he genuinely hopes that you win the championship, but he said, uh, he said, I've got to put a few things straight. He said, it was never me that ducked out of that fight it was it was down to promoters is, is that your take yeah, on it yeah i suppose i mean anthony's a top kid he's from the state he's got a little boy same age as mine wish him all, all the best in his career what he decides to do but yeah, it's a fight what never happened I don't know if it will happen in the future but yeah i wish him all the luck and yeah i i wanted to fight he said he wanted to fight so yeah maybe it was down to yes and this is going to be your first fight, I do believe, at, at the O2 as well. Uh, fighting a, a massive car with Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, are you going to be bringing the fans down from Manchester? Of course, yeah. They, they travel all over the country with me, even. Brought a load to Cardiff, I put a few coaches on and show most of them what to stay over and make, make a night of it. So, yeah, it'll be a good night of boxing. So you got two more weeks here, and then I take it back to back to Manchester after that. No, no, I'll go home Sunday. I'm here for two weeks. I'll go home Sunday and then start training proper with Steve. I'll, I'll retrain, but 
if for this it was just to blow the cobwebs off and try something different and yeah, so I've got more. Brilliant. Well Terry, as always, uh love catching up with you. I hope the rest of the training camp goes well and hopefully I'll get on that plane uh, come April and see you in April, mate. Cheers, Scott.